2.3, matrix math, what could be better than that? I know, that's how I feel about it too. So let me show you what a matrix is. It is simply a container, if you will, of uh, data. So if we had, if I could get the right pin, here we go. If we had something very simple, like one, two, three, four. This is the about the most basic matrix I can think of. And it's just a container that holds four pieces of data. One here, one here, one here, and one here. Here's a fancy word for you. Fancy word number one of the day. A number or something inside of a matrix is called an entry, E-N-T-R-Y. Entries have certain positions. Okay, so this is the bottom right position. And we could get crazy and call that A22 or something like that, but we're not going to do that. Um, it's just an entry in that spot right there. The thing we are going to talk about is called dimension. Okay, dimension. And the thing to remember is this quote right here, rows by columns. Okay, now when I first learned this, I always thought, well, rows go up and down, right? Well, no. Columns go up and down. So that's how I remembered it. Columns go up and down like holding up a roof. Rows go sideways like stadium seating or whatever. So this thing has two rows. Okay, I'm going to delete these, but I'm going to demonstrate. One, two. Two rows by two columns because it has two columns here. So this is called a two-by-two two matrix. That's what that's referred to as. So if I say make a two-by-two two matrix, you're going to have four total things in it. We could look at different size dimensions. Like, for instance, we could have something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm just filling in the entry spots with random numbers. But the dimension, if I said what is the dimension of that right there, it would be like saying how many rows and how many columns does it have. And that orders everything. The first number, this one, is rows. This is columns here. So how many rows does that have? It has two rows. One here, one here. Okay. How many columns does it have? Three. Good. It has three. Now, if I make a funky looking one, maybe something like this. One, two, three. I'm going to pause this video, hopefully this works, and I want you to write the dimension down. Be right back. Now the question is, is it a 1 by 3 or a 3 by 1? And people get this messed up at first. Well, don't overthink this. Just think rows by columns. How many rows do you have? 1, 2, 3. That's 3 rows. No matter how you slice that, that's 3. And even easier to see how many columns do I have? 1. So it's 3 by 1. 3 by 1. Now, what I'm going to do next is more where the problems lie. I'm going to define three matrix matrices. Matrix A will be 1, 2, 3, 4. Try to keep up with me writing this. B would equal something like 2, 4, 6, 8. And we'll make matrix C equal to 1, 2, 3 going this way. Okay? So we have three matrices defined, and then we can do all sorts of crazy things with it, like we could add them and subtract them and multiply them and so on. Do all kinds of order of operations with them even, which we will tomorrow. But for today, I'm going to start with a problem that looks like this, A plus B. When you do something like this, let's go ahead, I'll tell you what, let me put the red one on here, and uh, let's put the dimensions above these. What dimension is that right there? 2 by 2, this one, 2 by 2, and what about this one? One row, three columns, good, 1 by 3. Okay, right, back to the action. When you do something like A plus B, you're going to go like this. Here's matrix A plus matrix B, and then I'm just going to add them. So we have the same size dimensions, so we're good to go. And in fact, if they weren't the same size dimensions, you couldn't add them or subtract them. But we're going to do this. So you're probably asking yourself, is it just 1 plus 2? Yes, it is. It is just 1 plus 2. 
and that is three right there. It's the entry position. So it's this position that I'm sort of circling here. It's one plus two, like that. It's one plus two, and that equals three. So this would be six, two plus four. This would be what? Nine, awesome, and this, awesome. Okay, now, trying a different thing here. Let's do B minus A. Okay, instead of pausing it, we're just going to continue plowing through this here. What I would do here, don't try to do this in your head. Don't. Write it out. Like, literally time me and see how long this takes. That doesn't take very long. There's B minus A. Okay, and remember, our dimensions are the same size. So we can do this. These are both 2 by 2s. So we carefully just subtract here. So it's going to be 2 minus 1 this time. That's 1. Up here, 2. Here, 3 and 4. You get the idea. If you tried to do something like A plus C, well, that would be, and we don't even need to write this. This answer is no solution because this, these two dimensions are not the same. If they're not the same, you cannot add them or subtract them. Now, tomorrow we're going to talk about multiplying them, which is something we'll really have to hit the brakes on because people mess that up really bad. And I'll show you exactly how to multiply tomorrow. But this is the fundamental ideas behind matrices right here. Have a good day.